beautiful people and welcome to your monthly guidance for May 2022 with me, Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate your time on my channel. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. And if you're new here, I'm Julie Paul, an intuitive hypnotherapist, author, Reiki master teacher. A few other bits. The link to me is in the description box below if you want to know more. There's also a link there if you would like to join the paid membership for my channel, which starts at just 99p. Up to you. The information is down below. So this is good for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross watching. Um, and I also wanted to say before we start, thank you so much for all your beautiful healing and well wishes when I had flu, chest infection in uh, the end of March. I really appreciate that. And also your well wishes for my son's wedding, which went amazingly. My daughter's wedding's coming up in a few weeks time. Hence the extensions in the hair and all the flashy look at the moment. Two children getting married six weeks apart. There with my um, new look. I'm loving it. But anyway, there we go. So without further ado, let's crack on and see what's going on for May 2022. Hello Taurus, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Happy birthday to any of you who are M May Tauruses. Happy, happy birthday. All right, my darlings, your first card out, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords and the Fool. Okay, you are in your New Year energy uh, because it's your birthday season. Very powerful, powerful time to create new change. So let's see where we're going. Tell me more for my Taurus, please. The Hermit. Central Energy. Four of Pentacles. The Lovers. Strength. Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Okay. Let's get an Angel card. Advice, please. Advice and guidance for my Taurus. Harmony. And from the Magic of the Unicorns. Advice, guidance for my Taurus, please. For May. Law of Grace. Be your divine essence, dissolve all in grace, okay? And from the wisdom of the oracle, advice, guidance, my Taurus, please. Unfinished symphony, okay? We've got some unfinished business going on. We're going to use this deck at the end to look at money and career, okay, guys? All right, where do you want me to start, please? In the centre, your center, central energy, Taurus, Four of Pentacles. Now, I like and I kind of don't like this card. It's, it's a positive card in that it's a four, which is all about your foundations feeling very strong, which is a lovely Taurus energy. It's Pentacles, which is earth and grounded. And you can see here, he has got a box full of money and he's okay. However, this card also talks about lack, that I've got enough, but what happens when it runs out? Is there more? Is there more coming? I need to be careful. I need to watch what I'm doing. I need to watch the pennies right now. That lack energy will just create more lack. So we don't want that. I want you to instead embrace I am secure, I am safe, I am stable, all my needs are always met. That there's plenty more where that came from, that money flows easily and readily to me. And now what you're doing is stepping into a lovely energy of security rather than insecurity. I am secure. Now we can see with that first card, Five of Pentacles, I am feeling that lack. This is a card of struggle for money, this is worries about money. This is feeling unsupported, pushed out, left out in the cold, on your own. Nobody loves me. It's a, it's a struggle energy. It's also a victim energy. And when we step into that victim energy, of course, we just keep creating more victim. And we don't want that, all right? That, that's, no, we don't want to do that, okay? So how do we overcome this. Some of you could very well be absolutely struggling for money and I completely get it. You know the way things are at the moment and yep it's not easy. So let's acknowledge it. I am feeling insecure but the more that I step into that insecure energy the more I'm actually creating poverty around me 
the law of attraction is absolute. If I'm in that energy, if there's not enough, then the energy just keeps showing up that there's not enough. So I want to step into my inner self. The hermit is you coming right into you, but in me time, and I want you to really feel the energies that you're feeling. Allow the worries to come up. Don't dismiss them. Allow them to come up. You know, have I got enough to pay my mortgage and my rent? Am I going to lose everything? Allow the fear to come up and then I want you to literally imagine that it's coming up and through you into the light and dissolving and then replace it with all my needs always met that the universe has my back that it's okay so you're bringing your your truth which is this struggle you're bringing it into the light and then you are transmuting it transforming it now that takes a little bit of strength determination focus clarity, not giving in to the victim, not giving in to the fear. I am calm, I am strong, I am trusting. I am trusting that the mind, my will, is bringing to me everything that I need, everything that will support my needs, that I am supported, that there is enough. Now, we want to come away with that Five of Swords from that Five of Pentacles energy. The Seven of Swords, did I say Five of Swords? Sorry. The Seven of Swords can be a card of deceit and deception, but it's also a card about being wily. Well, that's what the Fox is about. It's being strategic. It's using your head to think about, right, what is my action plan? What is the best way for me to move forward towards that full card, that new beginning? What's the best way I can achieve this? This is a card of discretion and being discreet and discerning and strategy and not careful, Careful consideration, that's the words they're giving me. So I recognize that I am in this struggle, lack, poverty energy. I'm going to come up with a strategy of how to get out of it, to move towards my new beginning with that full card there. All right, this is a brand new beginning. You know, we are in this lovely energy of your birthday season, Taurus. So you can do this. You're in a new energy. What is your strategy for coming away from that? So, for example, if you are severely in debt and there really isn't enough money, come up with an action plan of how you can get debt free, what you can do about it. Perhaps it's about I need to get a better paid job or it's not just about earning extra money. It's also about how can I lower my outgoings. You come up with a strategy, you come up with a plan to move yourself towards the new beginning. We recognize there's a decision to be made here. We've got the lovers. Now, this is for May. This is a Gemini card. So this is telling me that by the end of May, you are really starting to move towards being able to make that decision. Now, that decision is coming from the heart, from the place deep inside you that is moving you towards greater security. So the decisions around you, it's interesting because Aries had cards of conflict and decisions as well. So we are making a decision to move us forward, to get out of the struggle and the lack and the difficulty, but I need to use my strengths. Now, we've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands next to each other. This is in your foundation. I want to be independent and have enough. Nine of Pentacles is mini Empress energy. So she is there knowing that she can provide for herself, that all her needs are met. This is a card of luxury, of flow and everything coming to you. And yes, it's been hard. Let's not dress it up. The Nine of Wands is a battle weary soldier, exhausted. It's been a struggle, but it's a nine. So we're coming towards the end of this. The Nine of Pentacles goes to the Ten of Pentacles, full freedom financially. The Nine of Wands goes to the Ten of Wands, where we finally release that burden. So you are working towards a better life for yourself as you move into this next 12 month period that your birthday season heralds. You're moving into, I am wanting a new beginning that is more secure, more harmonious and flowing. But there's something here that needs to be finished off. It feels a little bit in the way. So number 10, 
10 is completion. So what do I need to complete? What needs to be finished off, all right? The unfinished symphony is unfinished business, all right? So, you know, have I, or I'm just listening to what they're saying. Many of you have finished with your job, but you haven't left. You know, it's not you anymore. It doesn't fit you anymore. It's finished in terms of its energy, but you're still there. So let's trust and not get into the insecurity of what if I get a new job and I don't like it. Let's trust and move forward into something new. This could be an old way of thinking, an old attitude, an old belief that is ready to go. Something needs to be finished off. Only you will know what it is. Now, we want to get into a state of grace. What is grace? It's a flowing, gentle, allowing, peaceful, serene energy. Grace, graceful, everything flows, everything's easy. Be your divine essence, dissolve all in grace. Okay, so what are we dissolving in grace? So we're going to recognize the lack and the struggle here. We're gonna recognize the insecurity here. We're going to allow ourselves to just visualize in that strategy, picking all of that insecurity up and visualize an energy of grace, which is love and peace and serenity. And just imagine putting all those worries into that pot of grace and them dissolving and transmuting to bring you into a place that is harmonious. Now, when, look how happy she looks in there. Her heart is glowing. She looks really happy and serene. Her energy around her is flowing. It's balanced. Right, use the word balance as well. The vibration of the um, word itself, balance, balance, balance. It's a similar vibration to the um, all right? It brings calm, it brings stability, it calms everything down. So we're wanting to acknowledge this and then we're gonna move forward in trust into a new beginning that wants to come in towards the end of the month. So finishing off what needs to be finished, know that the end of the struggle is near because we've got these nines here. You have the strength to move through this towards this new beginning that is going to be much more harmonious and graceful for you, okay? Let's have a look at money and career for you. Just a few cards with money and career. So this is for job seekers, people wanting a promotion, or you entrepreneurs, business owners. It's the energy for my Taurus in terms of money and career, please, for May. Okay, we've got the Fool again with the Eight of Coins and the Five of Cups. So it has been disappointing. It hasn't been working the way that you want it to work. But we have got the eight of coins here. So this is you working on how you can create a new beginning with the Fool card there. How can I mm, work hard for this new beginning? Because what I've been doing has not been working out for me. This is mm, with the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, some of you have been hanging on to a job that really makes you miserable because of fear of letting go. But there is a new beginning waiting for you. The fool has come out twice now. So I want you to take this energy and allow it to dissolve in that energy of grace and trust that you deserve to be happy, that you can absolutely create a new beginning and you can turn things around. You are the master craftsman. You know how to do this. This is focused determination in your work life to create a new beginning that is just happier. You deserve that happiness, Taurus. You absolutely deserve it. All right, is there anything else you want me to say? They want me to just take a unicorn card. Final message, please. Final message. Listen to your heart. Now see, I love the advice and guidance they give. Your heart will always see you right. 
Your heart is, you know, your soul communicates to you through your heart. What does your heart say? Does it lift you? Does it make your heart sing? Or does it make your heart heavy? Move towards that which makes your heart sing. It says, awaken psychic abilities, tune in to the infinite, listen to your heart. And I want to notice here the snake around the tree, the tree of life here. Snakes represent transformation. So we are transforming and we are moving towards the star, the light, by listening to your heart. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you for May 2022. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing month, and I'll see you for the weekly collective readings. You take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.